pretty amazing week this week. Something I didn't think that would play out the way it played. But less than 24 hours, just to go, President Biden made the decision not to shift the August 31st deadline to withdraw our troops from Afghanistan. Even though some of our strongest allies from France and Britain and Germany requested it. Think for one moment, why is the UK and France and Germany there? Because 20 years ago, America was attacked. They were there to help defend us. And they requested a stay to go longer so their own citizens could get removed. The president now made the announcement that he will not, allowing the Taliban to direct our foreign policy. And now, with the very real prospect of thousands of Americans still stranded in Afghanistan on September 1st, the Biden administration is willing to accept the fact that they'll be leaving Americans behind in a Taliban stronghold. The president's misguided decisions run the risk of creating the largest international hostage situation we have ever faced as a nation. President Trump wrong to agree to withdraw troops? Well, President Trump had actually decreased the troops from 15,000 to 2,500 and not one casualty. President Trump's... But there was a deal to withdraw. It wasn't this deal. I think Mike Pompeo and President Trump have been very clear about this. Even the former Secretary of Defense have been very clear about this. There were requirements that had to be met. You watch time and again, whenever the Taliban did not meet the requirement, there was ramifications for that. Quick, swift, and very difficult. The other thing that you'd have to think about in the Taliban, they watch this president time and again with a crisis. Back away from Putin, ransomware, pay it, China, provide them. I just read a report before I walked out here. Allow Huawei chips to be sold. The idea that Russia could have their pipeline, but America cannot. I felt they think they were more, more emboldened. And as they moved city to city, I know for a fact that President Trump wouldn't allow that. That didn't meet the requirements. And for the President Biden to sit back in an interview and say nothing went wrong, that's a telltale line. And that you plan for every scenario, well, whoever started planning this should have stopped when this scenario started. Lives are going to be lost. The president has now ruined our reputation on the world stage, not for a week, but for decades to come. Our own allies are criticizing us. Our own allies who are sitting there defending us because America was attacked, asking us to extend the deadline so they can get their own citizens home, not for any other reason. And the allies that we have fought for years together, he said no and yes to the Taliban. So no, none of that would have happened under a different administration. And yes, that was a failure. One of the biggest failures I watched from a foreign policy in my lifetime. And it's going to do a lot of damage to us. Not just in a short run, but a long run. What does China believe now about Taiwan? What does Russia think about the Baltics or the Eastern Europe? Why, if there was not one casualty in the last 18 months, and only 2,500 troops had to be there, we were securing what we need to do. Why would you give it up? And f first and foremost, if you were going to draw down, the Taliban fights in the summer and hibernates in the winter. If you were going to allow the Afghan government to sustain itself, why would you draw down when the Taliban is at its height? Why? Who made that decision? And why would you remove the military before you remove the civilians? And why would the president just days before says he's going to maintain normal operations in the embassy? How could we be that far wrong? So no, they didn't get anything right. And no, when he stands before us and tells us it's safe to go, and then you find out 30 minutes later it's not, I don't believe it was right to close the base. And you ask me a question, I would have kept it open. And I would have kept, I would have kept open. It gives you more options. Mm -hmm. 